Hi, so I moved uh, and it was a big one. I've moved before pretty frequently actually over the last six or so years, but this time I, I switched coasts. On November 28th, 2023, I moved from Washington DC all the way to Los Angeles. Yeah, I know, it, <laughs> it's a big one. And it, honestly, it's gonna take a lot of adjusting for me, for you guys, for the channel. Actually, it's probably not gonna take that much adjusting for you guys, because the videos should pretty much be the same, but in a new location. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into the whole rationale as to why I moved, because there were a lot of factors, but the long and the short of it is, this is my new apartment, and it's also going to be my new studio office type of location where you're gonna see content for the foreseeable future. So in this video, I wanna take a shot at setting it up and give you a little bit of a tour. Right after a word from today's video sponsor, of course, cause I gotta pay for all of this. <laughs> today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post, a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the USA. And each month, Bespoke Post introduces its members to amazing new products from kitchenware to camping equipment to household goods and more. Based on a preference quiz you fill out, each box of awesome gives you a sample of cool stuff like the Flicker Fire, a personal campfire that you can bring anywhere, or the Hudson Candle, which also came with 10 charcoal incense cones with scents of cedar, juniper, pine needle, and damp moss, or a DIY hot sauce kit that has all of the ingredients you need to make your own hot sauce. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the value. Each month you'll get a preview of what you're receiving before it ships out, and you can decide then whether to keep or swap to a different box, or skip the month entirely, all at no additional charge. Bespoke Post really is a great way to discover incredible products from under the radar brands. So to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description below and use code LUKE20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash LUKE20. Big thanks to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back to it. All right, so let's start this video off with a quick tour of the new space. And one of the things that I'm most excited about is that I get a real living room and kitchen. At my old place, I basically had a living room with the same couch and the same TV and TV stand. And then behind it is where I shot all of my videos, which meant that when I was working on a massive project, it was really, really crowded and not super fun to be in my living room. But now I have this actual legitimate space with a much larger kitchen. And I'm, I'm hopeful that I will be able to use all of these spaces for filming as well. We've got this nice kitchen island here and I think a pretty nice living room layout should make for a good background in some videos. But then over here, we have this random room full of stuff that I don't know where to put it yet. And crucially, this is going to be the office, the main set that you guys see. And this space is a little bit different from the way that I had things before, because at my old space, I had a sort of lofted half bedroom, if you will. It was a smaller space and that's where I had my editing desk and uh, that's where I shot my podcast dark mode if you're a viewer of that it's where I would do all of my sponsor segments but it wasn't really where I shot all of my videos so the trade-off with this place is I get this much larger office room but it has to be both the space where I film my ads and podcast edit all my videos and where I film all of my actual videos so I'm kind of like upsizing and downsizing at the same time, which is a little confusing. But we've got my usual big table here. You almost certainly recognize this. I've been filming on this table for like four years now and it's not going anywhere. We have a, an interesting layout here. There's like a little indent in the wall. I have some pretty cool plans for this that we're gonna work on today. And then over here, this is my new editing desk. It's pretty simple. I just got these two Alex drawers from Ikea in green, and this is actually a kitchen countertop, also from Ikea. And on the other side, we've got more shelving and storage, and <laughs> yeah, I know, I have a problem. This is my MacBook stack rack, 
And this thing is actually pretty sick. I've been wanting to get a solution like this for a while. It has a power strip in there, so I've got a whole bunch of cables. You know, we got MagSafe 1. We've got a USB-C that's really long. I've got MagSafe 2 plugged in here. And it means that I can store my laptops and charge them up nice and easy. Look at that. We love that. Even got the original PowerBook charger, so I am all set there. All right, so now going back outside again, I don't really know why I'm showing you this, but this is the bathroom, the closet, and my bedroom. Um, probably not going to see too much content in here because that's where I sleep, not where I work. But that's a quick tour of the new space. I'm really happy with it, and it, I think it looks pretty good so far. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this new space. I'm super excited to start making content here. It's definitely going to be a long process because I have way too much stuff that I want to do. I mean. I could very easily just paint a wall black in there and just have a super minimal setup, but I'm not really uh, I'm not really a minimal person, as you can probably tell by the way that I've started decorating this place. So anyway, let's get back to setting this place up because, quite frankly, my old space was a pretty cool one. I had those big concrete pillars and I put those LED lights up the side of it. It was a really big open space with tall ceilings. I really, really liked that apartment and it didn't really take that much effort for me to get some cool looking shots in my opinion. This is an objectively nicer apartment, but as you saw, the office is just a big white room. So I've got a few ideas. This is the first idea. So these are Definitely bigger than I thought they were gonna be. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna be using as the backdrop for my wall. This is gonna serve two purposes. Number one, they look sick as hell. Number two, the backing of this is a fabric sound deadening insulation. So this should help cut down on some of the echoiness in the room. I think they look really, really good. And I guess I just screw them into the wall. So let's go ahead and mount them. So this is actually coming together really well and it's a lot easier than I thought. I'm basically just doing one screw top and bottom to hold it to the wall. It doesn't really have to hold any weight because they're resting on the baseboard. So by the time I move out of this apartment, I can unscrew it, reuse these panels hopefully, except for the one that I have to cut, and then just have like six holes to caulk. Not bad. Oops, um, I rearranged everything. I'm actually thinking about moving the slat wall. I know, this is this is a mess, but I think that wall is bigger and sort of framing wise, if we look at this shot right now, it, it looks a little weird. Obviously there's gonna be monitors and stuff on that desk, but this wall is nearly half of this frame. And we've kind of got the slat wall and the curtain on this half. It To me it looks unbalanced, so I think it would make more sense to have this wall be the black slat wall. This wall behind me doesn't need to have something because over here we have some more visual balance. So I think that would kind of make this frame look a little bit more symmetrical, a little bit better. So uh, I ordered more slat walls and I guess we got to move this. So what do we think of this? I, uh, I kind of like it. Obviously more wall panels gonna go up on this side, but I feel like this looks kind of sick. I'm also gonna mount that LED strip under the desk. And I think that would make like a really cool lighting effect to have in the background. I got this shelf from Wayfair for like 50 bucks. And I think, and I think that's gonna add a little bit more visual balance here. We can put some stuff on that, put some lighting on it. It'll make this feel a little bit more cozy. 
All right, so here's the finished product. I think it came out pretty well. We've got a lot of trinkets from the channel, like the Macintosh Plus I bought in Japan. There's an iPhone 2G. There's a sealed second gen iPod touch back there. I've got my trash can Mac Pro. And with a little bit of lighting, I think it adds a nice touch to the background. I think things are starting to come along pretty well. And I've got those shelf lights as well as the desk light on a Philips Hue switch. So it goes off super duper easy. Oh yeah, and the rest of my wall panels came, so I think I can probably finish up the office pretty soon. Let's put these up, shall we? Okay, so won't bore you with another montage, but here's the finished wall. There's a tiny, tiny gap between the edge of the slat and the corner of the wall, but all of this stuff in the bottom, it's all off camera. I had to cut out two holes here for the ethernet and for my power outlet there. But other than that, it's a pretty much uninterrupted slat wall. Now, there is one more thing that I wanna to do to this wall. And that is of course, more lighting. Now we have this LED strip behind the desk and I really like that, but I wanted to go a little fancier, so I think we're gonna to try to put an LED strip up at the top of the wall too, with light that diffuses down. I think that would look really cool, but uh, I'm gonna need some help. Hello, reinforcements. So basically we need to get that LED strip up there and i have a couple ideas sam yeah. basically we got these guys uh oh that's falling that's fine so this is just like a little bit of molding that i got at home depot and it's just an l shape all right so what we're gonna do is mount it onto the ceiling like this so it'll be screwed in on this side and then we have some mounting clips to put the led facing the wall. And so then from, from this side where we're filming, it'll kind of clean up the lines a little bit yeah, and it'll hold the LED in like just that. like that. I think, it, I think it'll work. Okay. Ah! So we've got the clips placed along the length of, well, we're just gonna start with this one for now. It's like a proof of concept. So it's kind of gonna go against the wall this way, meaning that the clips will Hold it completely against the slats. All what do right. you think, Sam? I think you might need a tall boy for that job. I think so. How about how about that? That's a tall boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after much ado, we have it up there. Can you even see it? Look at that. You it really looks, can. It looks really good, honestly. I am surprised with how well it came out. So now all that's left to do is plugging it in and seeing if it still looks good. Time for plug number two. Da, 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 da. Oh, Ooh. it's subtle. Yeah. But I like it. Ultra <laughs> wide angle. It's a thumbnail. Is that a thumbnail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't use that. All right, so we put the desk back in position and this is what it looks like. Honestly, very happy with how subtle it is. You can't really see the clips or the strip itself and it does cast this very subtle, but very diffused light over the surface of the desk. You can see just barely that shadow and how even it is. So that just makes the background look a little bit more lit, a little bit more bright. This room isn't super bright when you have that curtain closed. So I'm definitely happy with the way that this adds a bit of light to the space. So I've got my camera set up over here and let's do a test shot. So this is it, this is the final shot, at least for now. I might change a couple of things, and in my next video, we're gonna tackle the desk setup. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy that video because in addition to monitors and speakers and lighting and setting up the desk, I'm also gonna be kitting out my Mac Pro with PCI cards. It's gonna be a whole thing, so definitely strap in for that one. But apart from that, this is pretty much where I'm gonna be shooting most of my content for the foreseeable future. And I think it came out pretty well. I'm curious to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'm really looking forward to shooting content in this space. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.